Here is the next thing you could do. Instead of doing a is equal to a plus 1, and look at how that's confusing if you haven't had somebody introduce you to programming, huh? a is equal to a plus 1, what? But you know that this is an assignment operator. It's going to take the value on this side and assign it to this variable. And the reason it's just the equal sign is because up here you use colon equal to declare the variable the first time you use it and assign the value to it. That's the short declaration operator. This is the assignment operator. Take the value here and assign it over there. This little expression right here, a plus 1, it takes a, which is 42, adds 1 to it, 43, then assigns that to a, and we get 43 there. Programmers like to write things in a short term. Kind of like you all, when you text each other, you think, well, I don't want to type all that out, so you just type WTF. And it's like, you know, where's the fridge, right? Isn't that what that stands for? Where's the fridge? And so it's easier than typing, where's the fridge? You just write WTF. And you got, you got your little thing. Or you, you might do TTYL, right? Right, what's TTYL stand for? Toontown Yonder Land? No, what's TTYL? What is it? Talk to you later. What about AGRP? I don't know, I just made that up. There isn't an AGRP. <laughs> so we like to do things short too as programmers. So instead of doing all that, we could just do A plus equal one, right? And that's gonna give me the same thing. Just kind of like an FYI. We're not gonna go there right now. I just wanna give you a heads up. You could do plus equal one, minus equal, which would take A and, and it would take 42, subtract one and assign it to A, right? But this is, the, this is the way we're going to stick with it because those little other operators can be a little bit like, what, when you first get going. But there are those other operators, and if we look at that Golang spec, we see here we got plus equal, we got minus equal, we got times equal, divide equal, modulus equal. So we could do all those just like this. And so I will do it. I'll do A is plus equal 1, and that's going to give me the same thing as that. I'm just going to comment this out so it ignores that code format it, run it, right? So this is a comment. It just ignores it when you make something a comment, right? But now that's exactly the same thing. It's exactly the same thing as this. So that's the comment, right? Just A plus 1 is what that is. Kind of cool, right? But we're going to leave it like this. And now I'm going to teach you something totally cool. All right? Are you ready? You're going to learn how a for statement works. And a for statement in computer programming, we call this control flow. And how does a program read the code? And that's control flow. What's the flow of the computer reading the code? And can we control it? Control flow. And a computer reads code top to bottom. It goes into package main, enters func main, starts reading top to bottom. When it reaches here, your program's over, and the program exits. It's done. Okay, we're going to do control flow, and we're gonna, we could do sequence, which is the default, and we could also do a loop. We could iterate a certain number of times, so we're going to do a loop, and the loop is the for statement. So we do for, and then we're going to insert some condition here, and then we'll have our code block. So that's our, our loop, for some condition, and our condition is going to be while a is less than 100. So that's our condition. For a less than 100, we are going to font print line a, and then we're going to add a value to a, right? So I could do a equals a plus 1. And now that's going to loop. Right? And then I could print out a statement all done. So for some condition, A is less than 100, right? We're going to print out A, then we'll add 1 to A, and, uh, and then it comes back up here, and it'll be 40. this will become 43. Is 43 less than 100? Yeah, print it out. And then this adds 1 to that, 44. Is 44 less than 100? Yeah, true, right? For true, print it out. Eventually, I'll get to 100. Is 100 less than 100? False. It's going to leave.
It's not going to print out 100. So this will print 42 to 99. Ready? Watch. You ready? And if I wanted it to print all the way to 100, make that 101. Is that cool or what? So you know what you could do? I could say this is write 100 times. I want you to write 100 times, young man, that you will not be a psychopath in class. There you go. You want me to do anything else? I don't like that statement. That's better. And if we wanted to, we could print out how many times we've done it. 100 times. I'll be kind and love others if it's the last thing I do. That's the yawn test. None of you yawned. I'm scared. All right, so make a loop. <laughs>